Hello everyone, we are from Creative Editing. This is our new project, Smart TV Vehicle Charging Station over IoT using solar energy. So first of all, we will see the hardware components of the project. So this is an, a taller solar panel for the charging the battery. So this is an, a uh, taller uh, battery for the power supplying the whole the operation of the project. So this is an, a main microcontroller board and the main PCB of the project. So in this PCB, we are using voltage regulatory circuitry. So this is an, a liquid crystal display which show the all the parameter of the project. So we are using Arduino Uno for the controlling the board and the monitoring the all the parameter of the project. So this is an a voltage and current sensing circuitry. So this is an a relay controlling circuitry. This is an a, a Wi-Fi model which is an ESP8266 Wi-Fi model. So which which will be transfer the all the parameter of the uh, thing to IoT platform. So we are using ThinkSpeak app for the monitoring the uh, all the parameters. So this is an a relay and buzzer controlling circuitry. So this is an a temperature module. So which will be, uh, monitor the temperature of the EV vehicle. So whenever the EV vehicle temperature will be increases, automatically it will be cut off the load. So for the demonstration purpose, we are using two EV vehicle. So we, which we can control through this switch. So like this system, like uh, the project output look is there. So let's see the working of the project. So first of all, we need to turn on the power supply. So as you can see here, right now the temperature is the 28 degrees Celsius. So right now the Wi-Fi is connecting. Once the Wi-Fi is connected, the, all the parameter will be transferred in ThinkSpeak app. So as you can see here in the ThinkSpeak app, we are monitoring the percentage of the wattage and the rate of the consumption of the EV vehicle and the total rate of the consumption by the EV vehicle. We are monitoring the, these three parameters in the ThinkSpeak app. Like this system, the ThinkSpeak app setup is there. So once the uh, Wi-Fi is connected to the uh, project, so as you can see here, we are, we are monitoring the uh, total four parameters. One is the uh, current consumption by the EV vehicle and the wattage of the EV vehicle consumption by the total wattage and the rate of the uh, total rate of the EV vehicles and the uh, sorry, the rate of the EV vehicle consumption and the total rate of the EV vehicle consumption. So like this system, the setup is there. So as you can see here, we didn't add any kind of the battery in this project because we cannot charge the battery and discharge the battery suddenly. For that only we are uh, connecting directly power supply to the load only for, for the understanding the working and the concept of the project. So let's turn on the load. So this is an switch. So whenever we slide the switch in the upward direction, the automatically the load, uh, EV vehicle load will be turned on. So after that, uh, the project will be calculated each and everything. So as you can see here, the current consumption is 0.7 uh, around about 80 and the wattage is around about near to the 10 watt and the rate is a 0 0.33 and the total rate is a 0 0.33 so all the uh, all the parameter of the ev vehicle will be calculated and uploaded to the iot platform so as you can see here the near about the 10 watt is there also the uh, in the thinkspeak app near about 10 watt also is there so you can see here the all the parameters and the graph of the project you can monitor here only in the thinkspeak app okay so let's let's turn on the another ev vehicle load so whenever we turn on the another EV vehicle load, automatically the current of the EV vehicle load has been increases and the total wattage of the EV vehicle also increases and the rate and also the total rate has been increases. Okay. So all the parameters uh, will be transferred in the cap. So automatically it will be calculated based on the current consumption and the wattage consumption of the EV vehicle. It will be calculating the rate and the total rate of the all the things. So let's see the working of the temperature sensor. So uh, I'm increasing the uh, temperature sensor of the temperature. So whenever the temperature has been increased more than the 40 degrees Celsius, the buzzer will be turned on and automatically it will be cut off the load. So like this system, uh, whenever the temperature below the 38 degree, uh, 38 degree Celsius, the automatically our load will be turned on. Wait. So as you can see here, right now the temperature is below the 38 degree Celsius. That's why the automatically the EV vehicle load has been turned on. So this is an emergency button. So whenever the uh, emergency happens, any kind of the situation, you can directly cut off the load of the EV vehicle. Okay. Like this system, you can directly cut off the power supply of the EV vehicle charging of the EV vehicle load. So like this system, the project working is there. If you want this project, please contact us. All the contact information is available in the description.